Larry and and Rudy are raising a family. Uh, it's Pastor's Appreciation Day today. I'm sorry, can I have a van tea? No! Um, For some reason, I was like overcome with sadness. I'll see it. Sneezing like a monkey. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Mommy. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. It's over now. Buenos dias, Dai fam. Kita pasan. It's your girl RJ here with the whole family. Rudy, say hey. We are on our way to church, and hi. I. Hi, Jaden. Oh, sorry, Jaden. I always do that to you. All right. So we're gonna read the scripture of the day. It comes from First Peter <coughs> chapter two, verse nine, and it says, "But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's own possession, so that you may declare the goodness of Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light." Amen. Amen. Yes. So uh, it's Pastor's Appreciation Day today. We're all supposed to be like super dressed up. Apparently, that's what my mother said. But I do what I want. And so the boys are wearing like Hawaiian shirts. And Rudy and I are just wearing, you know, regular stuff. I have been really exploring makeup today. So I, I tried a thing, you know, I did my eye makeup. You probably can't see, but I tried some eye makeup. Probably doesn't look that great because I didn't try too hard. And I also have some um, lip gloss on with some lip color. Basically, I got this kit from some YouTubers. They have like a makeup set or something and I, I have their kit. I probably should put the information in the description of this video because <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> so yeah, and um, my earrings are from Latote, my shirt is from Latote, and that is all I gotta tell you. Time to enjoy church. <laughs> mommy's house right now for din din i said rudy you want to go to starbucks and he like took a long time to answer he was like mm. i was like i want to go to starbucks because i don't think you realize dairy it wasn't like a suggestion i was <laughs> i was trying to say hey, let's yeah, go to but, starbucks <laughs> but after starbucks while you're sipping your starbucks you're like i need to really cut back on starbucks so i'm trying to help rudy i haven't been to starbucks in a week oh i, I didn't yeah know. i haven't really? been to starbucks in like a week yeah Really? You went to Starbucks for me last time. Oh, actually. Yeah. It's not no, me. no, no. You got Starbucks for me a few mornings ago. When, when, when were you off? When Wednesday, Fourth of July. Yes. When were you off? When did you have to help Fritz? Fourth of July. It was Fourth of July that you had to. Help? Yeah. Okay. So that was Wednesday, and before then, I hadn't had Starbucks since like last Saturday or something. Yeah. So. <laughs> you sure. Anyway, guys, I got some compliments <laughs> on my makeup, and there was a guy there, and I, um. I was explaining to Nina why it takes me so long to put my makeup on because I was like first I got to do the foundation and then I have to fill in my eyebrows because I accidentally put foundation over my eyebrows every single time and I have to contour and highlight because my foundation is not the right color so I have to make sure I contour very well because I, I got to do the highlighting properly just to like make that the most of the foundation or whatever it is and then after that I have to do my eyes and then I have to do my lips and yeah so the guy was like yeah I have to do the same thing too and I was like yeah I bet and then he was like I just wash my face and go <laughs> like okay guys listen don't try to make me feel bad because I want to spend 20 minutes putting my makeup on like don't try to make me feel bad Rudy I'm glad that you don't make me feel bad about that but girls like to feel confident we love to feel beautiful when we go out, we want to feel really nice and cute. So we do put, make, we do spend the time putting on the makeup because it makes us feel good. It's not for you. I'm not putting on the makeup for you. I'm putting the makeup on because I want to feel cute with myself. All right, so anyway, I don't know if I'm going to take a nap today. I'm probably not going to take a nap because I have work to do. But oh gosh, I, I hope the boys take a nap. They need to eat lunch and take a nap. That's what they need. I'm gonna do a funny accent. 
She's not gonna be able to hear me. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you today? Hi, I was wondering if I could get a, a medium strawberry acai refresher, but without the strawberry chunks. Sure. And uh, a grande caramel frappuccino uh, decaf and with soy milk. Okay, and for the strawberry, I thought you wanted that grande, right? Grande, please, yes. Okay. And for the caramel frappe. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Can I have a venti? A venti is a what? The refresher. Sure. That's all. And it's a grande decaf soy caramel frappuccino. Yes, please. All right. Thank you. He has to accept <laughs> She didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, if you're acting, you're acting. I'm so embarrassed. She's like, who's this idiot? <laughs> How was my accent? <laughs> oh, I didn't think it would. I, oh. <laughs> I knew it was you. Did you like my accent, Brittany? That was like the worst accent in the whole world. Oh, you need to on that. And then the annoying part is that it was by someone took my, the person who took my order is someone I know. No! Um, maybe like to clean that up. No! Yeah. No! I pray that you will give them success, God, that you will give them strength, you will give them energy, that you will open their understanding, and even in the areas, oh God, where they lack the Lord, you will cause your anointing, God, to deal with every limitation in the name of Jesus Christ. guys it's the next day I know I look a little crazy I have this hair sticking up and it won't go away so last night wasn't the best night in the whole world obviously we went to church and it was fun it was really good I, I can't even remember the last thing I said to you guys we went to mommy's house we hung out mommy and auntie were like giving Rudy and I some advice about like marriage and stuff and it was nice but when I got home, for some reason I was like overcome with sadness because we had gotten some like not so great news. Uh, Jaden cannot return to the daycare until he's potty trained. And I don't know why like I took it so hard. I don't know. I think it was just like the mama bear in me because I know that the daycare is really good for him. And I was just really sad that he couldn't return because he needs to go to the three-year-old class. He's turning three in August. But he can't go to the three-year-old class until he's potty trained. And in my head, I know that, you know, he's not going to be potty trained for a while. Because I just don't think he's ready. A lot of boys don't potty train until they're like three and a half or four. And so I was just sad the entire night. Like, I tried to, like, make myself feel better. Or I asked Rudy to help me feel better. But nothing worked. And... Like, I just was trying to get out of my head and it, it, it wouldn't come out of my head. And I'm not sure what happened to me. I don't know if it's PMS. I don't know if it's depression. I don't know what was going on. But I just couldn't get rid of the sadness. And I ended up ruining the entire night for both me and Rudy. So, <sighs> I woke up this morning feeling a little better. Thank God. Uh, I did some anniversary posts on social media because, you know, it's our anniversary. And um, right now I'm about to clean up the bedroom because that's what Rudy likes. We're very strange people and for our anniversary we don't have any plans or anything but I know that he likes a clean living space and I know that he likes food. So I'm gonna spend the next like 15-20 minutes cleaning up the bedroom then I'm gonna go downstairs and try to cook him dinner before he comes home. You guys already know I always fail at that but the point is I'm gonna try to do it I don't know if we have any plans later. I'm letting him decide what we're gonna do. Yeah, the good news though is that Jaden did poop on the potty today. As soon as he woke up, I put him on the potty, nothing happened. An hour later, I put him on the potty, let him sit there for like 15 minutes and he pooped. Uh, about an hour and a half later, I put him on the potty because I saw him trying to poop in his pull-ups. 
and he stayed on there for like 10 minutes, did nothing, came off, pooped in his pull-ups, and then went on the potty to see, you know, like if he had any more poop left. And yeah, now he's sleeping. Jonathan's here watching videos. But yeah, sorry for all the talking. I know it's not fun to watch me talk for three minutes, but I just had to give a quick update. And let's just hope and pray that I feel better, yeah, like mentally, because this is not fun. Sad large is not a fun large So guys, Rudy came home like probably a few minutes uh, after, no, I think he came home right when I was done finished cleaning the room. So that was okay, but of course I didn't get to start dinner. But anyway, we talked about stuff and he's here being weird, sneezing all over the house. Um, is, and then, is weird sneezing in, in the house? Or? Yeah, you did see yourself sneezing. <laughs> sneezing like a monkey. <laughs> yeah, so, so I came downstairs to cook like dinner. Yes. I came downstairs to cook dinner and then Rudy asked me out on a date. So I think we're going out later. Dinner is going to be really good. It's shrimp. I'm going to get the thing for you guys so you can see. We're in the middle of cooking it. We started like a half hour ago. This is what the dinner is. Spicy Veracruz style shrimp with brown rice. And it looks yummy so far. With the verges and the water, dear. All of it. Yeah. So the boys ate dinner. Jaden had macaroni and cheese, which is his usual. And Jonathan had... Oh no, thank you, Jonathan. That's for you. That's your chicken. You like the bone? But don't choke on it, okay? Here's another chicken. Thank you, Jonathan. Give me the bone. I'll take it. Thank you. Here's your chicken. You gonna eat it? You like it? Guys, he devours the entire thing. Like within three minutes, that joint is gonna be a, it's gonna be gone. It's gonna be a white bone, Rudy said. Yama. Watch out, watch out. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Jaden. See you. Please. Oh, oh. Uh, please. You want your drumsticks back? You threw them. You're the one who threw them on the floor. You know that? Oh. Oh. Hey. Don't throw them again. Mommy. Yes, Jaden. I'm walking. Yeah, you're walking. See you. Mommy and Larry came over and they came bearing gifts in the form of some yellowtail moscato and some chocolate cake. So Larry was like, she was like staring at me. I was like, what? And she was like, hurry up and go downstairs. I want to eat it. So we're going to eat that joint. And we're also going to see a movie. We're going to see um, Ocean's Eleven. No. no. <laughs> Ocean's Eight. Thirteen. No, no Ocean's Eight. Why is it going backwards? It's a, it's a team of eight. And they're women. Rihanna's in it, and Hathaway. Yeah, her name sucked really bad. Really? really? Uh oh. Uh, do you still want to go? No, I mean maybe you would enjoy it. I maybe because it was guys that went. Oh yeah, guys are not gonna like a. Uh, why? I mean, because I haven't seen any of the Ocean movies. I want to yeah, see me it. neither. Because oh, every time I want to see it, 11. yeah, the every time I want to see it, this one doesn't want to. See. She's like, no, no, no. Because no. it's so boring. Like I don't want to watch that. There's something boring we haven't even. Started My favorite watching. genre is rom com. If it's not well, rom com, then I probably don't like it. Yeah, but you you watch other things that are not rom com. Yes, because to appe to please you, but I. Yeah, but you like some of them. Fifty percent of the time, yeah. Fifty percent is good. What what happened, girl? What's this? President Trump to reveal Supreme Court nominee. I don't care anything about Trump. I don't want anything from him. Guys, we're finally out of the house. It's like 10.37 and we're on our way to see the movie. Which movie are we watching again, there? Ocean's 8. Ocean's 8. I didn't even comb my hair. <laughs> the boys are asleep, thank God. So we're just going to be at the movie theater for the next two hours enjoying a movie. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, so we are just leaving the movie theater. We were the only ones in the theater. In our theater. Yeah, that's, that's not in the theater. <laughs> not in the entire theater, but 
we're the only ones watching the movie, so of course I um, use it as an opportunity to dance <laughs> a few times. Yeah. I got up out of my seat and danced because you know I'm large and that's what I do. The movie was good. Uh, I really, it, was, it was good. Yeah, it, it, was it wasn't good. like anything to write home about, you know? Like, I'm not gonna be like, yeah, go see it. It, it was just one of those jewelry theft movies, you know? So it was all right. All right, so I would love to have some pizza right now, but I don't think that there are any pizza spots in Stanford that are open, and I'm really sad because I want a slice of pizza so it's bad. It's a one-way, and you look behind you. <laughs> yeah, you know, honestly, nah, there's so yeah, yeah, many crazy go. people in the world. Yeah. People come down these streets the wrong way all the time. So, yeah, Rudy, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. It's over now. Yeah. It's it's 12, it's after midnight, so it's no longer our anniversary. Rudy, do you remember what we were doing? <laughs> Actually, we weren't doing anything at this time, seven years wedding. ago. No, we weren't still at the wedding. But no, we, it's we, we yeah, we got to the our hotel room at one o'clock in the morning. And that's when Rudy and I uncovered each other's nakedness. <laughs> what is it? I said we got to the hotel at one o'clock in the morning and that's when we uncovered each other's nakedness. <laughs> I posted on Instagram, I was like, Rudy and I laid hands on each other and prayed. And those of you who watched Larry and Rudy After Dark, you already know this story, but yeah, we prayed. We prayed before we attempted to consummate our marriage. Mm -hmm. That's what you should do because it's a serious thing, you know? Like, we didn't just wait until marriage, but we actually, like, used the whole thing as a, as a, and we continue to use it as a spiritual experience. It's not just a physical thing, but it should definitely be between a man and his wife, because it just makes it way more special and has way more meaning to it. Larry yeah, so that's all Preacher Larger has to say for now. By raising a family, this is how life should be. This is their story.